Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, it's great to see you again in my new video. Uh, I have uh, a little bit busy uh, this time, so I don't have to, uh, too much time to make the video. And it's great to see you again. Okay, and today I have a case study video. I uh, will show you how to create, uh, how to cut the texture on a surface. And a good example here is we we will cut. Texture on uh, a knife grip, okay. Yeah. You see that I have a beautiful knife, a beautiful folding knife. That's not uh, raised by me. You can go to the rapcat.com and you can see rapcat.com and search for a knife, and you got a lot of beautiful knives so you can. Uh, uh, practice okay. We show you some uh, knife with uh, the texture cut on the grip. You can see that very impressive, simple but impressive. You can see you can uh, make your custom texture limited edition. Yeah, okay. And here's another texture, it's not so impressive but uh, cool, right? Just a simple counter tool pad, you can create this sector. Okay. And this is very, very impressive. Uh, you can see this on the um, zero torrent. The zero torrent now have the same texture on their grip. Okay, and this is another custom knife with uh, impressive texture. You can create this by uh, simple tool pad. Yes, not is so complicated. I will show you how to do that. Very simple. Just uh, we just need some simple trick and we got it. Okay. Here on the screen, I have a, a knife with a smooth, uh, no texture on the grip. So we got the grip here. The place we forgot about the blade. We just uh, want to cut texture on the grip. Avoid the screw. Okay. This is how I, I do it. Yeah, you can do it, but uh, how to, to do it quickly? Yeah. Okay. I will um, create this texture, this uh, kind of texture. For example, okay, I create a single light. A light here, for example. Distant 4. Okay. And I use the transform translate toolpad, the y axis for example, uh, 1.5, and copy, and we we generate as much as you want, for example, uh, 20. If you 20 enough enough, 25. Okay. So we got one round of sector. You can use the dynamic transform. It's just practice. Okay. We will copy this row of sex this column of texture by distance of four. Okay. For example, four. Okay. And then we move it up a little bit. For example, point seventy five. Okay. Yeah. Contact you. Okay, and we do it again. Dynamic. Now we move a uh, distance of. Oh, you don't need it. Okay, we move it again. Translate, and we translate by a. Yes, like this, and we generate as much as we want, as many as we want. Yes, like this. So we got very cool texture. <laughs> Just this doesn't take too much time, right? Okay. Um, I think that's it enough to cover the grip. Yeah. Okay. We clear the color, and we make a change the color of this entity to, for example, red. Okay. Make it thin so you can see the texture 
to create it very simple and very quickly. Now I can rotate it. Okay, I can rotate it. I will move. Move. Okay. Simple. I put it here. And I rotate it a little bit. Oh, yes. For example, like this. Okay. Now we have the texture. Uh, the texture cover or the roof. And the question is how we can cut the, the texture only on the grip area, not here, here. And how we can select a quick select chain. Why we have a lot of chain here. Okay. We will review what we learned in Mastercam. Yes, that's very simple. The next step, I will create um, the boundary for the grip. Okay. I will use the wireframe boundary box. In the previous uh, version of Mastercam, like X8, X9, you can find this function in the create menu. You click on the create menu and you can find this function boundary box that will create a 2D boundary of selected item. Okay. I will set this and this. Ping. Oh, sorry. I used the wrong function. I mean the silhouette. Uh, someone uh, show me show me how to read it, but I forgot. Silhouette. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, this function you can find it on create and silhouette boundary. Click on this, okay, and then we click, click, oh, enter. We can create arc or SP live, okay. Now you can see we have the boundary here. In orange color. All right. And now we can apply the texture on the surface. To do that, I will use the tool pad and project. Okay. This tool pad allow you to project a curve or other tool pad onto the surface. Then master can we ask us to select the dry surface. The dry surface is the surface that uh, tool will be project. Okay, so I will select this and this surface. Enter. And to uh, make uh, to for the tool stay inside of the grip boundary, so we will select the containment. Okay, the containment. I will select the orange and you can select the circle here to avoid the tool cut into uh, the screw here you can see we have some screw and if you don't want the tool cut into the screw you can select the orange circle here in this case I haven't attacked the blade into the grip so I have the, the grip only so I don't worry about the screw okay you select the boundary And next, we select the curve to project to the surface. In this case, I will select by window and I will select it by color. So, you can go to the uh, option here and select by color. Because the texture in red, so I will select the red color here. This option allows us not to select the boundary. Go to the window and I select ping and click again, click any point on the screen. Ping. Yeah, you can see only the red chain had been selected. You can see the orange is the, the orange chain is not selected. That's how we use the option here. Select by color. Very simple, very effective. Okay.
And now for the tool, I got a, a available tool here. For example, we use a, a three millimeter bore end mill, or uh, yeah, 0.125 in inch. Okay, and a stock to lift. This is how the, the tool contact to the, the surface. So if you want the tool to cut uh, a deep of, uh, for example, 0.5 millimeter, you can input minus 0.5. Yes, minus. If you don't input minus here, negative here, negative value, the tool will not touch into the surface. If you input zero, the tool will touch on the surface. And if you input a negative value, Sorry, the tool will plunge into the the surface here. So it's the the deep of the deep of the cut. Yeah, by other way, uh, by other words, this is the deep of the cut. Okay, you can select the, the depth of the cut. For example, five. Let's depth it point twenty five because we select curve. To project so in this project type you can select curve if you have another tool pad like pocket or something like this you can select NCI and when you select NCI you have uh, the ability to select uh, another tool pad to project to the surface okay the tool containment center so the tool center the, the, the cut will not go outside of this boundary Okay, very simple. Transition, steep, shallow, the drinking parameter. You can input the lead in and lead out for the, the cut. Okay. It's just some um, parameter that you don't 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 need to care much about. I just want to show you. How to cut the sex side and not go to detail to the tool pad. Okay. You can uh, learn it by yourself. Very simple. All right. Ding, 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 ding. Look at this. In, 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 in. You can see that. Although we have select all of the the, the curve here, but Tool will stay in within the boundary. It's not go outside, so we just cut on the grip only. We haven't uh, select this boundary, so I will select it. We only have one. We will select another. And select the color option, and I will select this one for the second boundary. Okay. Bing. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Very beautiful. So I will go to the stock setup. I have created a SDL file for the stock, so I can verify it. All right. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, and this is our knife. Go slow a little bit. Go! Oh, too slow. In. 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 Wow. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I have. Uh, you can see the stock in red color. It's in the wrong position, so you can see the wrong reserve. I need to save it again. Okay, I select the solid. I will save it. Save some. And you save it as the SDL. To you at the stop. Save it to desktop. Save. Okay. And a chain. 
right okay now you can see the stock in the right position now we can cut it <laughs> okay this beautiful ding 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 yes go in yes because very really good see that Yeah, this is the text. <laughs> Look cool, right? Yes. Beautiful. You can see that we have a snack skin, right? Like snack skin. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. And uh, slowly you can create your, your style, your style uh, texture. Yes. Very simple and effective. Okay, that's all for today. That's how I show you. Uh, that's uh, how how easily we can apply a texture on a surface. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you can keep support my video and uh, my channel. Thank you. See you again.